What in the wide, wide world of sports is going on over here? Which rod and which piston? Um, have to... I have a number stamp set if you would like them. I think we need them. I will go get them. <laughs> Let's take that one for the top. Look how sloppy that is. <laughs> yeah, I know. I wasn't so, rolling. On the plus side, this is a steel timing gear. The modern negative engines. is modern engine, not not all modern engines, but um, V8s of the 60s and 70s would use a nylon gear. This would fail, the engine would be toast. This one uses a metal gear, which is noisier, but uh, it, it's worn. And there's a lot of slop in this chain, which shouldn't be there. We can call that, that a several degrees of. Advance and retard depending on whether you're accelerating or decelerating. Upon acceleration, this engine retards itself. And then it advances itself when you're backing off the gas. And if this is really, really bad, really, really bad. Really bad? It will start, and you back off the throttle, it leaves the exhaust valves open. <laughs> and things go pop, pop, pop. pop. No, it just leaves it open and you'll hear backfire, backfire, backfire. So if you've got an engine that backfires constantly, that could be why. Mm. And the chain is loose because it's too bad it will get. <laughs> no, it's warm. So it's just stretched. stretched. See, it's yeah. warm. See all the, see these grooves? Look at that. See that? Yeah, yeah. She's all warm. This is a, this is a tired little. My ex strikes again. <laughs> Road hard, put the bed wet. Yeah. Is it the chain or the gear? This is I wouldn't even want to be yes. near, but that's okay. This is an oil slinger. Oil slinger. And this goes on here, and to reduce the amount of oil that goes forward towards the seal that is on the harmonic balancer. The Uggy! This is the Sherman with the Uggy! Yeah. It doesn't work. Of course, fine. Don't, Stop working. Don't be afraid of it, Mr. Shimon. Stop working. You're mad at it. I use air for nothing now. My compressor barely comes on. Sorry, I'm way old. I like your old compressor, though. It's kitchen. My old compressor rocks. For the simple stuff. Okay, where's my... Bags. Can I have a hammer, please? Yeah, Bags some, and a I hammer. Some friends in town here. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you want to use that hammer? You don't want to use the sledge. They have up on their wall no, no sledge. Oop! There we go. Coming up. Mm. You got like a broom handle? I used to always use a broom handle. Sorry, right. we got it. Cause kind of hillbilly with it. We got it. Sorry. Right. So we're probably labeling those. This is one of those early moments of truth. So oh. this is a bearing cap. Unveiling. Trying to. Trying Will to. there be a pink or a blue explosion? Can it be groovy? No. The crank mm -hmm. didn't look mm -hmm. horrible right that. there. Yep. Crank looks good. So if I can't get this freaking thing out. Careful. I'll, I'll hold this straight up. Oh. Yeah, don't want to go too far and knock it out on the floor. Oh, I've done that. Yeah. Hold on. Here we go. There's our Holy bearing. moly, Support that's out. actually, no. Well, no. it's worn. It's worn, but it looks good. It's worn, but this is not the bad one, though. This is the bottom one. Yeah. Right, so this doesn't, if you think about it, the piston pushes down, that's the power, and then it's drawn up. So this is the low stress stroke. And that goes right there. Sometimes we just like a low stress stroke. Uh, the rod bolts. Oh. Right. This. Chris, is that the point he just skips over anything that I say? Then they can correct Are the bearings the same? Yeah, for the like rods. You know, one for the connecting rod and one for the... Uh, these, I'm the sure... Rod, the rod, it's two bearings. It's, uh, it's, yes. Yes, it's, it's two bearings. Two bearings. They're usually the same. No. They're, sometimes they're the same, sometimes they're not. It's Most of the time, they're, they're not. not this, on the other hand... Is it beat to poop? What's it say on it? Standard. Standard, oh. Standard. Oh, it's uh, it's taken a little. Mm -hmm. okay. This is normal wear. So this is actually very, this is worn and it needs to be replaced. 
Right. And the reason you can tell that it needs to be replaced is this is lead right here. This is a tri-metal bearing. It's steel backed. It most likely is a tri-metal. It doesn't say cleavite yeah, yeah. on it, but <laughs> so you've got lead here and then you've got a substrate material which is usually copper. I don't think that's copper though. And it's it's worn through all the lead and it needs to be replaced. But this is an engine that was maintained through its life and is, you know, the crank actually is in pretty nice shape. Means so, through good oil changes, is what you're saying. Yes, regular maintenance. Regular service. Yes. Regular maintenance. I like I prefer regular service. Mm -hmm. I think we all regular other than change the oil, what kind of service do you perform on? Yeah, you're usual. Oh, you do all sorts Filter. of things. Like, for example, you want to change your coolant on a regular basis. Five oh. years. Five years is it. Okay, wow. so this is the piston. Oh, bearing. There's your bolt. Here's the rod bolt. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, connecting rod bolt. Bag. There we go. Now we can put it back Mission in there. Mission statement. Yeah. Oh, they're Alcoas. Look at that. Oh. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Picture. Very nice. Does that mean they're aluminum? Yes. Of course, yeah. They're all pistons are almost always aluminum. Almost always. I think it was only during World War II that they used uh, cast iron. Oh no, their cast iron was a thing back oh, in yes. the teens. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Walter they switched to aluminum and then mm -hmm. went to the war. Yes, adhesive. Walter adhesive. Owen Bentley, W. O. Bentley, was the uh, forefather of the aluminum piston in an automotive engine. That was his claim to fame because it reduced the overall weight. Look at that. That is a very, the piston itself is in very good condition. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. It, it literally might be reusable. Ooh! However, these are, see how loose that is? The Ringland mm -hmm. is Ringlands a little are tired. Warm. So we'll probably end up putting new pistons in, but it's it's in good condition. You know what we could do next week? We need Chuck? to put these somewhere. Um, someone needs to go steal eight pack two liter thing from behind uh, the grocery store to put those in. Oh, like one of those. Those make great piston holders. Mm -hmm. I'm not stealing it. Oh, I used to take like five. Yeah, we just gotta keep them nice. Go for the yeah, the nuts gotta go back on the rods. Yeah, where'd the nuts go? Right here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put them on the rod. Well, no, you gotta put those. Put on the that cap one. on. This one's a different one. But here's the cap. Yeah, put the cap on it. And they go tang to tang. Well, number to number too. Yeah, number to number is the easiest way to think. Yep. About. Here we go. Sorry about that. No, not how you ever get everything. All right.